Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to Thursday Theorist. Today, we are talking about Stephen King's second novella collection, Four Past Midnight. Yeah. So, in this one you have four novellas, short novels. You have The Langolier, Secret Window, Secret Garden, The Library Policeman, and The Sun Dog. Today I'm going to go through and review each and every one of them. Just a short review, just a recap. I plan, once this series is over, I plan to go through and reread Stephen King's entire catalog. Yes, again, it'll be my third time through the whole thing. Um, that'll be in 2020, and I plan on reviewing more in-depth um, each one of his books all the way through. It won't be another Thursday Theorist. It'll just be reviews to have up on the channel because I haven't reviewed everything. So I'll go into more detail in those reviews, and I will in the Thursday Theorist. Uh, the meat and potatoes of the show has always been connecting this connecting his works to the Dark Tower or the King universe, however. Just connecting all these worlds together. And what easier way to do it than to do it with Dark Tower, which insists that all of his work does fit together because he wrote himself into the book. Into the story. Like a crazy person. I actually enjoyed that part of it. But anyway, so spoilers throughout. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Um, I, I haven't done this since... Uh, what? What is it? December or did I stop in November? I can't even I can't even remember. And it is currently uh, January, January 10th, I believe. Um, so I've had an extended break. I'm ready to jump back into it. Um, the reason why I took a break, uh, just to inform people that might not know who've been wondering where their series went, um, is because I I wanted to take a break for the holidays and I had to catch up on some rereads. Um, right now I'm rereading Roadwork. That'll be next week's Thursday Theorist. Then I have to do the Running Man Thinner. I have to do all the Bachman books. Then I have to do the P Peter Straub collaborations. It's been ages since I read any of any of these books, um, any of the Bachmans or the Straub books. So I'm having to go back and reread them. Um, I found something in Roadwork that I hadn't found before, which is interesting. But back to this one. So right off the bat, Langoliers is my one of my one of my favorite uh, Stephen King novellas of all time. I love the wackiness of it. I love the craziness of it. Um, it does it does have a problem for most fans in that uh, if the Stephen King universe is like it he says it is, how is it possible for the Dark Tower to exist if the Langoliers eat time? Well, that's simple. It's just another turn of the wheel. There are other worlds than this. So in this one particular world, the Langoliers eat the time. Um, now, as far as the rift is concerned, I still think that rift is a thinny. Um, it, as far as the uh, the idea goes, it's just a, a veil between worlds. And what you're go what you're going to, I think, is another. It's not really our world. It's of course our world in the past, but it's a world where these creatures exist, and basically we don't, and time has moved on, kind of thing. But uh. So, with the Langoliers, one of my favorite parts of the story are the creatures. Um, now, in the utterly terrible and amazing, at the same time, TV adaptation, they're just shown as, you know, basically, uh, what are they, critters. You know, basically balls of fur with teeth. Um, I love that stupid movie, basically because of Bronson Pinchot. His Toomey is a terrific character, I think. I also like Harry Dean Stockton. Stockton? I can't remember. I might not even... The dude from Quantum, Quantum Leap. I think he plays a guy named Sam. Maybe not. Um, anyways, but uh, I love his character. I love his character in the book. Um, I like everybody except for the little girl. I don't like Dinah too much. Um, so the way the book plays out, I don't actually mind it. <laughs> but I had a good time with it. And... Like I said, I think it connects with the thinny aspect of it, and how can that be in if it eats time if it eats time after it passes? I think that's because you're traveling to another world where that is possible. Next up, we have Secret Window, Secret Garden. Um, if you if you don't if you don't actually read the entire story, you might think that John Shooter and the main character are twinners. They are not. He's just fucking crazy. Um, with this, I, I have very fond memories of a movie theater experience watching this movie. I remember the movie more than I remember the book. Um, as far as tie-ins to the Dark Tower series, I'm going to leave that up to you down there in the comment section. You always know I leave something out for you guys. So I want you to connect uh, the Secret Window, Secret Garden down there in the doobly-doo. 
Uh, next up, we have the Library Policeman. I think this one is a very loose, loose, loose connect, like the Langoliers. Um, I think Ardelia Lortz is a creature, much like the Outsider and Pennywise and the Greys. I think, well, basically, I think she's a Grey from the Dreamcatcher universe. Uh, but I think the same thing of it, well, Pennywise, the entity known as Pennywise. Um, but... I think that Pennywise is an upper echelon type of creature, whereas the Greys are maybe lower, lower beings. Because I, if it's never really said in it whether or not um, the and spoilers for it in case I mean this this uh, this series is about spoil is we're going to go into spoilers. So um, it's for his entire catalog, not just this book. So spoilers for it. The it's never said whether or not Pennywise arrives on a spaceship or if it's just him. Now we see this thing land, um, but we don't know if it's in a spaceship or maybe part of, him, part of it is the spaceship. Who knows? Because he gets stuck. It gets stuck in, uh, in the spider form, but that's not his true form either. So anyways, I think Ordelia Lortz is another outsider, or another Pennywise, and I'm going to start calling that race of creature an outsider, um, because of the book The Outsider, he goes into that far, far more. Um, and also, another thing that was brought up recently that, of course, I had already done a bag of bones before I did The Outsider uh, Thursday Theorist, but The Outsider is mentioned in Bag of Bones, and Tracy Robinson on Twitter brought that up. Um, is something that, you know, of course, I would have caught on a reread, but I hadn't reread it. So, there you go. There's another, yet another connection. And finally, the Sun Dog. The Sun Dog has our old buddy, Pop Merrill, which puts a hard connect to the uh, Dark Tower universe because of Gwendy's button, Gwendy's button Box and Randall Flagg in that one. Castle Rock is part of the Dark Tower universe, and Pop Merrill is Ace Merrill's daddy. Um... Well, uh, I think uncle. Oh wow, I don't even—I don't actually remember. So it's either the uncle or the dad. I can't. <laughs> I can't remember. I just completely blanked on that. So rage at me down there and tell me which one it is. I actually think it's his uncle. Um, but Bill, if you're watching this, um, <laughs> Bill uh, or Thugged Out White Boy here on Twitter uh, says he wants an Ace Merrill book. I'd like to ask you guys, what would you think an Ace Merrill book would be like from Stephen King? Um, let's let's just discuss that. So, what did I miss, especially for Secret Window, Secret Garden? What did I miss in this book that connects to the Dark Tower, Stephen King universe? Let me know down there in the comments below. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been Thursday Theorist. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye! And I am super hyped to be back. I'm super hyped. And uh, I don't know if you guys are enjoying these after the after the video clips or not. There's something new uh, after the outro clips. It's something new. If you're wondering why I have so much energy, this is me on keto coffee. I tried keto coffee this morning because I'm fasting today. Wow. <laughs> My brain is firing on 12 different cylinders. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I might start overthinking things because that's how my brain works. But anyways, how are y'all doing? Let me know down there in the comments. I'm thinking about writing a fan fiction about Ace Merrill just to shut Bill up. <laughs> I'm kidding, Bill. Bye-bye. <laughs>